In this episode, I'm going to create a tool that makes it really easy to load rasters into QGIS. So, to start with, I have this uh, big bucket with uh, old aerial imagery from uh, the 50s. Um, and I want to be able to use these images. Um, I, I could always just drop them into uh, QGIS and have them show up uh, like this. Um, but I'm not sure of the naming convention and uh, it, it's a bit problematic to finding the correct one and I don't want to load them all because it will eventually be a lot of data. So I want a simple way to access the right uh, tile when I need it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, to do this uh, the simple way, um, I just navigate to the folder where all my TIFF files are located, and then I use an, uh, a command. So the command for this is uh, GDAL tile index. I'm going to create a geo package file that is called historic orthos 1960 index.gpkg and I want to use all TIFF files in the current folder to do this. So that only took less than a second really. Um, if you are uh, reluctant to use the command line uh, you can use the tool through QGIS as well. It's under uh, GDRAL and let's see, Rasta Miscellaneous, I think. Tile Index right here. Or if you are using the, the shortcut tools right here, you can just type, press Ctrl K and type in Tile Index press enter. Here you get the tool and uh, the same way you can navigate to the directory where you have your folder uh, files. You can change the field name if you want to but this is the default. Uh, you could store absolute path to the raster files but I don't want to do this in this case and I'll explain later why. And you can do a lot of settings here that I didn't bother with, with the command line uh, tool. Uh, so uh, you could do it right here. And um, if you do it here, uh, save it out to a file at the same location. Uh, that is one of the key uh, things that makes all this work in the way I want it to work. Uh, so save it to a file at, in the same, same location where uh, your raster files are located. But my file was al already created in, let's see, imagery historic files, historic orthos, there. So here we have a few of uh, eventually a lot of author photos. Uh, let's fix the styling here so I can see the background. Maybe like that. So what I want to accomplish is um, I want to just be able to turn this layer on and then just click in a square 
and uh, have uh, QGIS load that imagery for me automatically. So in order to do that I need to create some actions for this layer. So I go into the layers properties and find actions here in the properties. Uh, there's a plus button to add a new action. I press that. And the type of action I want to add is Python. So select Python and a description load rasters from folder by click. Ah, that's fine. And the short name uh, click to load. Uh, fine. Then I need to write my Python script. Um, I will be using um, um, the iFace uh, interface. Uh, so I need to import that. I, I don't have to import it, but it, it makes it simpler. So from QGIS utils import iFace. Uh, this import make it possible for me to address this library, sub-library, directly in uh, by command. Uh, I could use the entire string QGIS, utils, iFace, but since I'm going to uh, call this multiple times, um, I think it's easier just to import it. So now I need to get my... Oh! I need to show this first. Uh, let's just... We need to look at the table. So uh, the command just created a location um, attribute with the file name. And uh, since I did not uh, use absolute paths, only the file name is uh, given here. Uh, the, the benefit for uh, by this is that if I move my folder with data to another location, uh, my script will be agnostic to this and uh, it will not care uh, where the, the files are located. If I had the entire path here, the absolute path, I couldn't do that. I, I couldn't move my my um, data. But um, by doing it this way, I will be able to move my data to another location. So, uh, back to the uh, action. We had the Python action, and I had just imported the iFace um, interface um, functions here. Since I'm not using the complete or the absolute uh, file path, I need to get the current uh, folder where uh, the file is stored. And since my index file is stored at the same location as my raster files, uh, I can get the folder from the index file and use that. So my uh, layer path is going to be uh, the directory of uh, that layer. So to get the directory part of the layer URL, uh, I use os path dear name. And uh, the actual full path of uh, the layer, the active layer, is iFace active layer. And I need the data provider and the data 
source URI. So this part will give me the active layers um, source data uh, complete uh, path to the file. And this command will separate the directory part of that. So the path to the layer without the file name is my layer path uh, variable. And then I need to get the, the full path to the raster file representing the index box I click on. And for that, I create a variable, raster URL. And I use the layer path vari variable. And I add uh, the value from lo the location attribute. Insert that. Uh, however, I need to add a separator. Um, in Linux it's a uh, forward slash, uh, in Windows it could be something else. Uh, there is a smarter way to do this by a Python command, but uh, this way I know what I'm doing right now. And finally I need to load this layer into the canvas. So I use the iFace again add raster layer and this takes two uh, two inputs the raster URL and a name and uh, I could name it anything here this is what is going to be show up in the uh, layers list but I will uh, include the location attribute here as well, uh, which will print out the file name in the layer list. That's it. Uh, now in the actions button, I can use my function click to load and just click in a in a square. And that will load my uh, layer. And if I click the next one, nothing happens. That is because as soon as a layer is loaded, it becomes active. So I need to click on my index again, and then I can click on the next uh, index, index square. So, finally, if I save this style as default into the GeoPackage, the source database, and it's located here, uh, I could take the entire folder and move it somewhere else. I'm not going to do it uh, right now. Um, and when I want to use uh, the, the this imagery, I only have to... Let's remove this. Okay. And add the index layer again. I can just select that and load it. So very simple and very easy to load exactly the layers I need. And you can absolutely do this with any type of raster layers uh, and they don't really need to be tiled either. Uh, as long as you can click uh, with the tool on a specific tile or uh, raster square, 
uh, to load it. This will work. Hope you find this useful and uh, see you next time.